All right. Meanwhile, it is a work of art, a modern art with a meteorological twist. This high tech exhibit in Chicago is actually powered by the weather. That is awesome. Its creators figured out a way to turn data about winds, clouds, and rain into this dazzling 95 foot long digital display called Sensing Change. It's pretty cool. I'm not upset about that at no, all. No, that is really awesome. nice to watch. Yeah. yeah, very soothing, actually. Yeah. So joining us this morning via Skype from New York City is the creative force behind this weather-inspired art, Edwin Schlossberg. He is the president and principal designer at ESI Design. Edwin, what inspired your designers to come up with this concept? Well, it, you know, it's so interesting if you have a, a really long space, like 95 feet, and and you want something that's going to be really interesting. You realize that there's no amount of composition you could ever make um, by yourself so that it would always change and always be interesting. And so we just hit on the idea that it would be really exciting if we made it, uh, we uh, we took the data feeds that we could get in, the, in Chicago and then put them into the system and then uh, connected those, you know, pre precipitation and temperature and angle of sun and humidity and barometric pressure and all those things together. Mm -hmm. And then every mm -hmm. single one of them made different colors or different patterns going on in the sign. I mean, this is actual data that we're watching. This is amazing. Can you explain how you turn the numbers about the rain and wind into this unique kind of light display? So we took uh, we just took the feed and then we separated it into um, cloudy, sunny, precipitation, not precipitation, and wind. And then we attached uh, color variables to each of the numbers of the thing. So if it was 10 miles an hour, it would be one uh, color, et cetera, et cetera. And so that we made a, an algorithm that took all the, the data and then translated it into um, the colors and the patterns. And then for the wind, we made it so that you, in a sense, it seems like the wind is blowing the images across the screen. Hmm. That is just such a, an innovative design there. And you have plans to blend natural elements into this high-tech display using ivy. Could you tell us more about that? Yeah, because it's a, you know, in the city, you're, everyone's always hungering for a little bit of natural things. So we put a, a bed of ivy at the bottom of it and we threaded it up so that the, um, um, eventually the, the ivy will, will um, um, surround some of the areas of the, um, of the lighting. That's so cool. What kind of feedback are you getting from people who work and maybe drive near this piece of art? I mean, we're talking about a parking garage, is that right? <laughs> right, it's on top of a parking garage. Oh my and so, goodness! Um, yeah, and so uh, um, we've gotten some really, um, actually, beautiful letters and emails about it. Uh, and the um, John Buck uh, uh, company, which is the one that has uh, is the client, has is so excited about it, and they they told us that their tenants really love it. And they were really happy about it, and they can't believe that it just keeps changing and it's never the same. And so it's been it's very satisfying to get that level of support and and uh, appreciation. So you said uh, you're planning on the ivy kind of feeding its way through. So you're still planning on improving this even more to what is already pretty impressive. We thought the idea of, of it that it has all this responsiveness, and uh, in addition. When it's uh, St. Patrick's Day, we can uh, you, we can make uh, a lot of the of the uh, lighting change to green or different shades oh, of green. Yeah. So we can do other things that um, can add to the the variety of what things that, that people see. Maybe red, white, and blue for Memorial Day or whatever. <laughs> Edwin, yeah. I love it. Thank you so much. It's great that we can tie art and weather together. So we appreciate your time this morning. That is really awesome. One of my favorite things, one of my favorite parking garages I've ever seen, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Let's take a look at your back to school forecast.